Hi everybody, I just thought I'd check in. Hi. Um, I haven't been doing much crocheting. Um, I was doing a parakeet and it was so, so small the, with the co small cotton and the size E hook. It was making my hands sore and I just got fed up with it. So I put that down and well, I've been diamond painting like crazy and I've fallen madly in love with it. So that's what I'm doing here. And at night, if me and my husband are watching a movie and I want to pay a little bit more attention to the movie, I do my diamond painting at the dining room table. So I sit in the living room and I knit on my sweater. Won't be done um, this, not until fall. This, it takes a lot to go around and around when you're my size to make a sweater. <laughs> so this progress is slow. <laughs> but I'm got um I'm probably three quarters way done with the bodice. So I'll still have to do the sleeves, which that won't take long. They aren't as big around as my my bodice. But if you haven't done diamond painting, it's it's really relaxing. I'm working on um I don't know if you can see really good. This is hot air balloons for my daughter. I find it so relaxing. Um, and people who haven't done it, you know, at first when I hadn't hadn't ever done it and I saw it and I thought, oh, I would just make a mess. I would spill them beads. But, you know, it really, <laughs> I do spill beads, but it's not like it happens all the time because I work at the table. If I were doing it in bed, like some do, I don't know how they do it, I would spill for sure. But I just find it so relaxing and so pretty. I've done quite a few now. Um, my new company hasn't started yet. We had some, we broke our website when we had like a thousand people join at once to uh, sell. So she's having to do redo the website. So it's taking a little bit longer. And then with the COVID-19 crap, um, shipping just takes uh, horrible amounts of time. So as soon as I get that, I'm going to do an unboxing of my kit. And then I will have my website address for you if you want to um, buy diamond paintings for me. They will be made. Uh, they are made in the U.S. and will ship from the U.S. So it'll be nice to support the U.S. company instead of China, which I... Reading labels a little bit better, not trying not to buy from China, but that's an awful hard thing to do when almost everything is made there, which we got to take, get it back to made in America. I remember when Walmart first opened, it was like everything was made in America, made in America. And then the old man died and the son took over and everything's made in China, made in China. So <laughs> Sam Walton was good for america but his son not so good i think anyway not to be controversial um i uh, have not been doing anything but sitting and you know doing this uh, my hip is hurting horrendously and of course you can't get into the doctor just for a checkup i do have one set up for june middle of june hopefully um, wisconsin is on lockdown and uh, yet so get in see what's wrong with my hip I'm sure it's arthritis but it's very painful I can hardly walk across the house so I uh, my husband's doing um, so much of the work which he works yet and he's he's a little bit older than me and he's got working on cement all day and his he's got horribly flat feet so he's in a lot of pain when he gets home and then um, on weekends he does laundry for me because it's down in the basement. Uh, so I get down there, I hobble down there very carefully and get it all sorted for him and then he does it for me, which isn't easy for him to get up and down. <laughs> but on weekends he does better because he's not on cement. Uh, so... 
he's been doing that for me and of course he doesn't do it like I do it you know and things don't get hung up and you know wrinkles <laughs> I like doing laundry and so I'm hoping when my uh, dad's house sells I can remodel our bathroom upstairs to make a walk-in shower and put in uh, washer and dryer you know st on those stackables that way I can have my laundry first floor and we can we can live here for a whole good long time. Um, this weekend, uh, my daughter is coming alone without any grandkids and she's going to do my big grocery shopping for me. Um, I send my husband to the store with the list and of course you don't get what you wanted and there's all kinds of cookies and things. <laughs> If you know how that goes. <laughs> it's not like doing the same, but I know my daughter will go exactly by my list and get what I need. And then she'll, um, she's done it for me in the past. And she'll take a picture of the, is this what you mean? She'll take a picture of it on the shelf. Is this what you mean? Is this what you want? How about this? Which is, <laughs> which is nice. My husband won't do that. <laughs> Oh, it'll be nice to have her here. Um, and she lives in a county where they don't have any um, of the virus going on. So she's safe to come here by us. We just um, won't do as much hugging as we normally do. But she's a retired, she used to be a beautician, so she'll be cutting my hair. I haven't been doing any videos because my hair is pretty horrendous. <laughs> I can I can cut my bangs and and around my ears, but I can't reach around to the back, so I'm in bad need of a haircut. Uh, so I'm just plugging away here on this diamond painting. It's for her, and I wanted to. I should have done it before the last one, so I'd have it in time. But I didn't know she'd be coming. And she asked me what kind of plants I want for the garden. So for Mother's Day, she's buying me my tomato plants. And because um, we just have flower boxes, we put them in so we don't have to bend. So she said she'd get me that for Mother's Day, my tomato plants and a couple green peppers and a cherry tomato plant. I love cherry tomatoes. So that'll be nice. Um, that's the... Best kind of Mother's Day gift. I have enough doodads around the house. As it is, I don't need things like that. But tomato plants, that's a that's a great gift. She usually buys me a um, living plant, and I plant it out in my flower garden. But tomatoes are good this year because I didn't start any. And with my health, didn't get out and get any plants. So she's got a three and a half hour drive to come here by me. And then she'll stay. And hopefully we don't get the blizzard they <laughs> um, said we might get. But it's mostly up from where she lives anyway, up north. Anyway, I just thought I'd check in. Peek at you. Say we're doing okay. My husband was off three weeks. Um... He took a family leave because he's over 65 and at risk. And one guy did test positive at work, but he was off and uh, before my husband took his three weeks. But it was nice. He took three weeks paid vacation, but with the family leave thing through work, they paid, they gave him the, a week and a half. So he only had to take a week and a half of his vacation time so that was nice and they went back and everybody's healthy there they take your temperature when you walk in the door um, he's got an essential job because they make parts for paper mills and um, 3m things like that so it's he's got an essential job but he's not out in public just the guys at work so he's still working so <laughs> look at this mop here <laughs> i usually like it short and spiky and it's, it's see how long it is <laughs> so um anyway i just thought i'd get on here we are well although i don't sound well my my throat's always sore since i had strep last year 
So anyway, I just thought I'd get on here and check with you and let you know we're doing okay and still doing crafts. Bye.